Hello, this is Mr. Nolan, and I am going to show you how to use Remind. Uh, Remind is a an online tool that I can use to message you through your smartphone or through your email. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second, the, as far as email. Um, but Remind is really important. Students find that it's extremely useful because I remind them about quizzes coming up or things that are due, or I will send documents. There's lots and lots of neat things that I'll do with Remind. And so I want to just get you set up with that and how do you deal with Remind. Um, what I'd like to show you what to do is just how do you sign up for a class with Remind. There's two ways to do this. One is with your phone and one is with email. You really should sign up for both. If you don't have a smartphone, some of you don't, then you really need to sign up by email. You can use your student account or if you have your own email personal account, you can sign up with that as long as you use it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to sign up for a class. How do you use Remind service effectively? Uh, it's, that's really just information contained in this, uh, this uh, screencast. And then how to chat a response to me, a word on this in a moment. A few notes. Uh, if you don't have a smartphone, sign up for an email. Just make sure that you do that. It's going to make life a lot easier for you. I actually expect you to look at all my messages. Um, all the time I get students, even good students, that don't bother looking at my messages and you lose out on important reminders. Also, sometimes I tell you things on Remind that I forgot to tell you in class. Um, and it might be important, so that's another reason why I really want you to be looking at messages when I send them to you. Don't ignore them. Uh, if you chat me, I might never see it. That's not personal, it's just that I don't really use the Remind chat service. Um, so if you chat me something, I probably won't see it. Instead, you should email me. If you have a response, you should email me. Uh, you can chat if you want. Um, what I would really suggest you do is early this year, try to download and print a document that I have sent to you with Remind. Uh, that way you know how to do it. Because what's probably going to happen is that you'll be absent or otherwise, for one reason or another, miss a class or lose an assignment, and you want to print something out from, from Remind, and it might be a big headache. So if you take the opportunity now to try to print something out that I send you on Remind, you might save yourself a lot of trouble later. So you should really try to figure out at home how do you print a document from your phone on Remind. Or it's a lot easier if you have an email because you can print things out uh, from an email quite a bit easier. So let me kind of show you what things look like from my end. So. Uh, remind what it looks like from my end is this. It doesn't look like this from you. This is my dashboard. It's what I can see. And uh, usually, if I were to click on people, I would see a list of different students that have entered this class and are actually part of this class. Since it's summer right now, there's nobody here. Um, but in order to log into this class, let's say that you're in my first hour biology section and you want to log into my first hour biology class on Remind. I have created a unique code that only works for our class, our class room, not all the other sections, just first hour. And that section this year is at, include the at, Dakota Bio, and then the number one. You can see it up here in the left-hand corner of the screen. So it's at Dakota Bio 1. And if you want to join the class, all you have to do is to send this unique code, uh, if you're in my first hour, uh, to the number 81010. That's 81010. And so you're going to send your unique class code. So for instance, if you're in, let's say, fifth hour, you'll notice that the class code is different. It's at Dakota Bio 5. So I'm going to go ahead and run a little quick test here and see if this works. I've got my phone on me. And I'm going to send the text at Dakota Bio 1 to 81010. So I'm sending that right now. And, oh, you can see, there I go, I just popped up right here. So uh, it says right now I have no role, um, but AN is going to be my, my code. Um, and in a moment, my phone ought to buzz, and that should indicate that uh, uh, I have enrolled. And Remind is going to ask you when you send this unique message to 81010, it's going to ask you what your name is if you don't already have a Remind account. It's also going to ask you, are you a teacher, a parent, or a student? And you can just go ahead and, and say you're a student. Um, please sign in with your actual first name and actual last name. It's going to make life a lot easier for me trying to figure out who is actually logged in if you use your actual name. Um, that just makes life easier. And my phone is not getting any reception right now, and so it 
it's not buzzing, but any in other circumstances it should should work. So this shows me that I have logged in to my own account. Um, if you were in a different section, you'll notice that there's no people in this account. Um, so here there are people actually logged in. Um, if you want to log in by email, what you would do is you would go to your email and what you would do is you would type in uh, to your email. I'm going to compose a message and you're going to compose that to uh, the special code Dakota bio one and it's going to be at mail.remind.com. You don't have to include a subject or anything. Uh, you can just type in whatever. You don't even have to include a message. You can just type whatever you want. But as soon as you click send, so you're putting in the special code here, and then at mail.remind.com, as soon as you send, you're going to see uh, an email very similar to this one. It's going to say, hi, we need to confirm your email address before adding you to Mr. Nolan's whatever, our biology class on Remind. Please click this link to confirm your subscription. So you're going to click that link. And what you should see is a page that says you are now confirmed in the classroom. You'll see this little bus and it says loading remind. And then it's going to ask you to complete your account. And once you do, um, it, you'll be confirmed. So this is what you should get. You should get an email that says, okay, you need to confirm if you want to sign in by email. And I really recommend that you do. But otherwise, if you're not going to do it by email, uh, what you need to make sure that you do is... Uh, is go to 81010 and log in with your unique code and that code is going to help you out. So I hope that this was useful um, and I hope that now you can sign up for a class section with Remind. I hope that you can use the Remind service effectively. Um, anytime that I send you a message it will ask you do you want to respond. Uh, you can just click respond and you can send a message back to me. But like I said, good luck actually getting a hold of me because I don't typically look at those. Um, but I believe that you can actually uh, chat with other students in our Remind classroom as well. So you can give that a try and see how that works. So again, make sure that you use Remind. I really suggest that you log in by email as well. That way you get it on the phone and email. And even your parents can log in uh, to uh, Remind if uh, they, uh, they want to get a heads up about what you're doing in class. So again, I hope that this video was informative and useful to you in using Remind in my classroom.